guys, it's Shannon and Paul. And today on the Collector Corner, we are opening up Arcane Divination figures by Kid Robot. Yep. So we want to thank our really good friends at Kid Robot for sending this case to us that we could open and share with you guys. We are on the hunt in this video for the full set of figures, which you can see right here. There are three mystery figures. That's right. All right. We so, don't know how rare they are. So this is the second box of Arcane Div that we are opening. Yes. So we are looking for the tree. These are both one out of 40. Yeah. So you don't even get one per case. Nope. And we have opened these once before. Yes. And we got the clairvoyant. I believe so. We did not get the tree. We got these two mysteries. But not this one. Not this one. But it doesn't matter because probably yeah. you guys haven't seen any of these figures. Awesome. So we are opening them all with you here today. Yep. Paul's going to start us off. Okay. Come on. Tree. Tree or survivor. Here we go. Wow. The emperor. The emperor. Okay. So... You want to make sure that you oh, yeah, there's cards. <laughs> get your card out. Wow. So there's our Emperor card. Here's the back. So all the backs are going to look that way, which is very cool. So here is the Emperor. He is really awesome. Um, let me show you the boxes here because the boxes will, show, will tell you who the uh, artist is that created this. So... Dr. A. Dr. A. Um, these little pieces all look like soda cans. They do. You're right. All little <laughs> gauges. But yeah, all little soda cans. He's probably sitting in that chair because he didn't recycle. Mm, maybe that's what that's happened. probably what it was. I bet you're right. So, there you go. All right, the Emperor. <laughs> all right. That's a good start. That is a good start. Okay. So, is the card just loose in the box? Yes. Yep, just loose in I'm the box. I'm going to give you mine okay. to take the card out. Woo, that looks cool. Just taking it out from yeah. the back. We have the Survivor. So here is the Survivor. I love the writing up here. I wish I knew what it said. Yep, there's the card right there. Okay, the Survivor here is by Tokyo Jesus or yep. Tokyo Jesus. <laughs> I'm not sure. Honestly, I'm not sure how the artist. I'm going with Tokyo Jesus. By. Tokyo Jesus. Yep. Okay, that is an awesome figure. I like how much detail the artist captured in her face. Yeah. With how small it is, like her eyes are beautiful. So pretty cool. That is a cool one. Whenever I see that one, I think of the Eye of the Tiger. Yeah. Survivor. <laughs> okay. Give Shannon on that box so she can get the card out. And we have... Oh, we have Justice. Not to be confused with the girls' clothing store. So this is another <laughs> figure... Nobody's going to be confusing that. This is another figure by Tokyo Jesus. So this is a 1 in 20. This is, is a harder one to get. So I like all these little eyeball faces. Very cool and kind of creepy. It reminds me of the movie Hellraiser. Here's your so, card. Cool. Look at that. Yeah. Card is neat. All right. So there's... I like all the detail judgment. on the face. Yeah. On the card. I like from that way it looks like a sombrero. <laughs> so it looks like a Dia de los Muertes there you go. figure. It's not, but kind of looks that way. <laughs> you pushed him back next to the box again. I, oh. I always push the box back. If you guys watch the channel, you'll notice this. I always push the box back after Paul places his first character, so the box will be behind his characters, and then he, he goes and pushes them back. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Oh, my card. I didn't take my card oh. out. Yep. I was dismantling my box with the card. Oh, this is an awesome one. Okay, so here is Strength, and this is by Camelia, Camelia de Erico, I think, is how you say it? <laughs> Camilla, Camilla de yeah. Erico. Yeah. She, uh, I was familiar with her artwork because of um, adult coloring books. She has some amazing books. I think she has a new one coming out soon, if I'm not mistaken. So definitely going to be looking at that, but let's get to the figure. So <laughs> this is Strength. And I love 
the dunny ears, <laughs> but up here it looks like these look like they would be flocked, like fuzzy. Oh yeah. Just the way it's painted and displayed. They're not, but it looks like it would be like that. I like the way she's holding her hands up yep. front here. She has the big lion mane. The dunning ears look to me like they are peanuts. Peanuts? Yeah, peanuts. it could be peanuts. Yeah, so hopefully nobody's allergic. And I like that she has one blue eye and one yellow eye, and then the lion mask or oh, yeah. headpiece has the opposite. So, That's really cool. cool. And there's the card for that. So, yeah, you have coloring books that I, I recognize that style. Yep. Okay. Awesome artist. Next up, oh, oh, I forgot oh, to get my card out. Card. The card, the card. Okay, this is the chariot. Wow. So that is a really cool one. I love the the painting on the dunny's head of the skeleton in there driving the chariot. And then he's got like two like skeletal, I don't know what. These aren't horses. They look more like lions or dogs or something. They look like the Sphinx. Yeah. So that is by John Paul Kaiser. That's the artist. Oh, hey, shout out to you, John Paul Kaiser, because I like the name, and I'm going to have one of those rolls today with a sandwich. Kaiser roll. <laughs> yep. Oh, Paul. Here's your card. That card is really cool, too. That is a cool I like card. That oh, one. I like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. I really like I love the background of, like, the city. Oh, I like the, on the back of there, the chariot um, logo. Yep. I like the city. I mean, I know that's probably supposed to be Rome. Or there's Egypt. There's, like, a... Pyramid, but I think it's like London. Like I'm thinking of like Mary Poppins. Mm. I can just see like the little chimney sweeps hopping up here. Yeah, we're on to <laughs> two totally different wavelengths there. Well, yeah, but you know. <laughs> just what it reminds me. I watched Mary Poppins the other night, so <laughs> I'm remembering the, the chimney sweep song. Uh oh, there's my card. This one's stuck. Ooh, oh wow. Okay, I have the tower. So this is like wow. The tower I didn't notice is that. That's yeah. really cool. I like the symbol up here. It's kind of blocked a little bit by this dragon on the front. Yep. The tower is also by uh JP Kaiser. Okay. JP. Now you're just calling him JP. Well, he and I are buds now. Oh, okay. We got the whole lunchtime sandwich thing going. Well, there you go. In case you're watching, <laughs> JP, you can leave a comment for Paul. We've actually had that happen yeah, on the channel that some of the artists of things we have opened have left comments, which we just think is so stinking yes, cool. That's like, awesome. It's, yeah, it's really awesome. But here is, wow, the card looks really cool too. Yeah. So the figure looks just like the card. I love this figure. I really love this figure. That is... What I really like the most about it, I love the detail of the claws, the feet here yes. on the on the dragon. That's dragon a, that is a cool figure. I love that temple. A, that's really neat. All right, so that is the tower of power. <laughs> By JP, Paul's new bud. That's right. <laughs> this is a small figure. Oh, we have the star. Oh, wow. I thought that was a mystery one. Nope. So this is a really cool one because check it out. You can you twist can around the little compass thingy. Really cool. I love that skull right there. And then there's the knot skull. That's really, I love this instrument, whatever this is, like an astrolabe or something or other. I don't know what that's called, but it's really cool. It fascinates me. It does. I can see Paul. But not enough for me to learn how to use it. <laughs> So, just, you know, just keeping it real here. <laughs> All right, so there's the picture, and that is, that's really cool. Yeah, so I like it's actually your, whatever you called it, is reflected up here in the card. Oh, it sure is. Yep. All right, we've got a clear figure with the little boat and then the waves down here, and then on the back, no boat. So aren't they just navigating with that? Yeah, just navigating with it. Yep. So, very cool. And let's see... That was a rare one, I think. One out of 20. And that's by J. Rue. Oh, yeah. We forgot yeah. to say that. J. Rue. So what's funny is on these, there's a lot of different artists, but 
it's jruart.com. Yeah. I think so. he designed a box. Oh, okay. The art. The My art. card is in there still. Okay. Ooh, ah! I dropped it. Don't drop it. I have Fortitude. I don't remember this one. That's a cool one. Yeah. This is, like, way cooler than... I, I just don't remember it. Yep, that's another one so, by JP. <laughs> we have the Fortitude <laughs> there. Um, I really like this figure. Yeah, it looks like it's like ivory or scrimshaw or something that's been carved. It does. So we were recently in New York and we were at the Metropolitan Museum of Art and I'm pretty sure I saw this exact figure there. This exact statue in the statue garden. Yeah, I was going to look that one. <laughs> that is really, really neat. So another one by Paul's new friend, JP. JPK. Yep. If you flip that back around, I really yep. like these symbols because the chariot had it and fortitude and um, the tower. Well, the tower didn't have it. But like, that reminds me very much of like tattoo art. Oh yeah, that'd be a cool tattoo. Yep. All right, and there's the card right there. Fortitude! Not to be confused with attitude. Which is what Paul would have tattooed on him. Attitude, I need the card, please. Yes, you do. Okay, let's put it up that way. Okay, this is oh, our, our first, first duplicate. duplicate. The survivor. The survivor. Okay. Next one. Come on, somebody new. Okay. We have the ghost. Now, this is the 2 out of 20 ghost. This one is by Jeru. This is awesome because it's clear. I love these beechwood trees that make up like the little forest. And then in the middle, you've got this ghostly figure hovering about. Ooh. Yeah, it's very scary. Can you see the... There, now you can see. Yeah, now you can Maybe see a little better. bit better. <laughs> yep. So that is very cool. There's the ghost. I love all the little tattered rags out the bottom. <laughs> and Oops. the card on this one is just super cool. Yep. Because ghost. it's ghosts forever. Because yeah. there's the infinity sign. Like That's true. From LOL Surprise. Yep, or if you turn it that way, Ghost 8. Oh, a Ghost 8. Yep. Who did the Ghost eat? Oh, I don't know. I'm not even doing um, a good job of showing you all our figures. So you cannot see. see. We can go one more right here or we have to start a new line. All right. Let's go one more right there. And then here, while you open this up, I'm going to move the box. Okay. Totally out of the way. <laughs> all right. I'll take my card out since Paul's getting those. And... Our figure, oh, it's a duplicate of Fortitude. Fortitude. So I'll put my duplicate back there. I'll go again. Cool. Okay, come on, somebody new. Oh, it's a duplicate of the ghost. ghost. Did you call those birch, birch trees, birch beach. wood, beech? Beach. Is it beech, beech wood, yeah, or it's birch? Beach. It's beech. There is a birch tree, but a birch tree looks different. I like the way those look. Mm -hmm. My card is still in there. This maybe, not, maybe not beach. Now, now, maybe I think it's ash. birch. Maybe they're ash trees. Are you sure know. it's not birch? I don't know. Ooh, I have an accessory with this one. We haven't been checking for accessories. Okay, okay here is my another one by Camellia de Erico. This is The World. The World. This is a one out of 20, and it does not show on the box that it comes with an accessory. So just be aware if you get her, she comes okay. with this scepter. Scepter. So there she is. I like the animals up here. She's the world. There's a little dove. Yep. Very cool. That's I awesome. Like that one. Oh, and there's the card. So that figure, seeing the doves, reminded me, or made me think of it. Of uh, Prince. Of what? Prince. When doves cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but now, now I'm going to think of that. So what were you thinking of? So I'm going to give Kid Robot an idea here for a future Ooh. Dunny series. Okay. Something I would love to see. You could do it with the artists and whatever. Or just Camila de Erico would be a great one. I would like the 12 Days of Christmas. <gasps> Dunnies. Oh, that would be so cool. The doves remind me of a partridge in a pear tree. Yeah, that would be a great series. I Paul. would love to see the 12 Days of Christmas. Yeah. 
that's a really good idea. I'm I like full. that one. You're full of you're full of something. <laughs> ah. Okay, we have another one by Camilo de Erico. This is Nature. Love it. So there she is. This one's really cool. I love the little bees up here that are different colors. I love her hair thing going on. It looks like looks like one of those pull apart buns. You get the bakery <laughs> like, like monkey bread flour and stuff. She got a little skull right there. She has the two different color eyes. She is holding the infinity symbol, and then there's like a spider web. And she has thing. little cloud pajamas. She does. <laughs> well, it's like a cloud cape because yeah, really she's wearing like spider web spider web onesie. So her hair is really cool because it's like icy clear at the top and then goes through to that like smoky color. Yeah. That is a cool figure. I love the colors in it. And All here right. is your card. Cool. Nature. All right. There's my card. Okay. Don't throw my card away. Don't throw my card away. I'm not. I'm not. I'm getting it. All, all scaring me over there. Woo! We have a different ghost. Yes, so we this do. is one of the mystery ones because this is the like totally translucent. That's the totally clear one, but that's a glow in the dark ghost. Ooh. That glow ghost in the will dark. glow in the dark. So all day your lights are on and it's sunny, and then you turn your lights off tonight at, or at night, and the ghost is just woo yeah, on your shelf. But no sound effects. You could <laughs> add the sound effects if you want. You can just like loop that sound effect that Shannon just made. That's right. And add it. So the card is the same. Okay. But that's the, but ghost. the figure totally yeah, different. So that is question mark, question mark out of question mark, question mark. So we've got no idea cool. how rare that is. But it is cool. All right. Thank you for sharing that. We have another ghost. Okay, that's this, a different ghost. This is the imprisoned ghost. And this is crazy cool looking. So yep. this is. It's got like bars going down there to make a cage. Uh, it's metallic on top to do the top of the cage. It's got chains all over it and a big lock right in the middle. I like that. This is to make sure the ghost doesn't bother you. You get no sound effects with this ghost. So That's a silent ghost. Silent ghost. Silent but deadly. <laughs> <laughs> now I know what Paul's thinking of. <laughs> like a fart. <laughs> <laughs> if we crack this open, it would smell. <laughs> Don't crack it open. <laughs> All right, so very cool. So that's the imprisoned ghost. That's probably one of my favorite figures right there. That, that is just like the coolest design. It really is. Okay. Here, I'll tell you what. I'm actually going to move some of these figures back. Okay. So I'm going to give Paul my box. I already took the card out. Oh, okay. I have, oh, I have a duplicate of the tower. The tower. And the tower just tipped over. Okay. Okay. Um, actually, no, I'm going to let you go because we only have three. Okay. So. Who, we're still missing the tree. We got no yes. tree. Well, it's a one out of 40. Okay. So. Okay, I have a duplicate of uh, the emperor. There you go. So who are we missing? Up here, the tree. And do do juggernaut. No. Judgment. We got judgment. Judgment. Juggernaut. We got, we got judgment. Thinking of Magic of the Gathering. Yeah. We have the ghost. The uh -huh. clairvoyant. We did not get the clairvoyant. We have the star. We are missing this that. mystery. So yeah. this mystery, the, the clairvoyant, clairvoyant and the, the tree. tree. Yep, those are the three. And juggernaut. No, the we one, have Judgment right there. No, the one I added. Yeah, Juggernaut. Juggernaut. Yes. You're right. We don't have That's Juggernaut. not Judgment. That's, That's the Chariot. You're right. Hang on here. Judgment. Judgment's that one right there on the end. Yeah, Judgment. But hang on. That says okay. that card says Justice on it. I feel like we had that problem before. Oh, I think you're right. Yeah. The card says Justice, but the box says Judgment. Okay. We're going with the card. Justice. So. Oops. There's my card. I have a duplicate of strength. Strength. Okay. Okay. Come on. It's up to you to get All the right. tree. Last one. Come on, tree. I have... Oh, nature. An awesome figure. Nature duplicate. But 
a duplicate. All right, I'll give Shannon that to put over on her duplicate bill. Okay. All right, Shannon, we did not get the tree. We, we did, did not. not get this one, nor did we get the clairvoyant. So, wow. All right. Okay. So that's part of the fun of collecting and opening blind box stuff. It is. Yeah, you stuff. never know what you're going to get. You can always trade other stuff you have with other collectors, or you can sell it, or, you know. Yeah. Have duplicates. Yep. So I never showed you the top of this. It says, live on time, emit no evil. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay, so I want to pick two. Go ahead. Pick two. I want to pick one of my favorite of Camilla de Erico's, and then I okay. want to pick just another favorite. Okay. So I think for Camilla de Erico, I'm going to go with the world. The world. Right okay. here as my favorite figure. All right. And my just other favorite, I'm actually going to go with the chariot over there on Paul's okay. side. The chariot. Yep. I just really like that. No, that actually would be the juggernaut. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm right calling over it. Okay. The juggernaut. We're going with the juggernaut. All right. So let's see. Um, okay. The star is absolutely amazing. Yep. I love the star. You can pick anyone you want. I am. I'm going to pick the star, but I'm going to pick another favorite as well. Um, I love the design of the chariot because of old timey London and chimney sweeps. <laughs> Cause I got my thing going on there, but I am going to pick another one by JPK, my new sandwich buddy friend. Um, I'm going to pick Fortitude right there because I love the, like the carving of the, the sculpture of the statue there in front. Um, I think that's pretty cool. And I agree with you. It does remind me of the Met. Yep. So Jean-Paul Kaiser, if you happen to have anything in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, let us know. We'd love to go see it. That's right. Because we were there all day and hardly saw anything compared to what they have there. Yeah, you're not kidding. They have a crazy <laughs> good collection. All right. How about you guys? Which one of these was your favorite? You can go ahead and leave a comment. Let us know. And make sure to hit the like button, hit the share button, and make sure to subscribe if you're not already. That would be really cool. That would be. Because then I could be your sandwich buddy. Oh, yeah. Paul. Paul's looking for sandwich buddies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks Hopefully so much. Hopefully that's not some crazy term. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. Thank you for watching. Thanks again to Kid Robot for sending these to us. We always really appreciate it. And thanks so much to you guys for watching. You're the best. We'll see you next time. See you later.